This short video will give you an introduction to Yammer, one of the apps available within Office 365. Office 365 is a range of apps and software that work across multiple devices to help you be more productive. You can access these services from your computer, from your phone or from your tablet. If you've not used Yammer before, you may have noticed it by being invited into a group. You can see this email means a colleague has invited me to join a Yammer group and if you click go to group, you'll go to Yammer automatically. But if you just want to go and explore and see it for the first time, go into Office 365, click on the waffle in the top left hand corner and go to All Apps, then find Yammer. It might not be at the top, so you will have to go into All Apps. If you want it to be in that launcher when you hit it and make it easier to find next time, click those three little dots and click Pin to Launcher. Yammer is a social network for members of the Imperial College community. So anybody with an Imperial College Office 365 account will be able to join. Everyone will be a member of the All Company group as soon as they join, and you can also join other groups. You see on the left hand side there's a couple that I'm already a member of. One's a group for GDPR and there's an Office 365 tips group as well. It works in a very similar way to any other social network that you might have used before, such as Facebook or LinkedIn. If you're already a member of a group, then great. If you want to go and find out about the groups that are already happening across Imperial, click on Discover More Groups on the left-hand side, and then you can browse them. Now, if these groups are public, you can click Join, and you'll join that group straight away, or some of them, the request will go to an administrator who would have to allow you in. To create a new group for yourself, that may be for work colleagues or for something external, you click Create Group. This is going to be an internal group that I'm doing, and I'm just going to call it training demo. Then you choose who you want to be members of your group. So I'm going to invite a couple of people just by typing their names into the box. Again, if they've put their profile pictures in, um, that makes it a lot easier to, uh, to find them, which is why it's a good idea for you to do that too. So I'm going to add Adrian, Anna and Lizzie into this group. You've then got a choice to make, which is just at the bottom there, about whether you want this to be a public group or a private group. Now, as I said before, if you list it as public, people will be able to just click join and join it straight away. And that might be great if you're trying to promote an event or a club of some sort. Or it would be private and you can stop it being listed if you just want it to be between the people who you choose to invite. And it's as simple as that. You click create group and now you have a group within the Yammer social network. So if you click at the top, you can post an update and tell people what you're working on. Just be careful that you post to the correct group. So if you post at the top level, anybody within that all company group will see your post and be able to like it, reply or to share it. What I'm going to do is go and post in this private group, which is an Office 365 tips and tricks group. So I'm going to just go and write a quick update into this group making sure that I'm posting in the correct group, as I said earlier. And at the bottom of that post, you can also choose to mention people. So just like when you use the at symbol in Facebook or on Twitter, you can put that and then you can mention specific people who will then be notified when you post. You could add a file from SharePoint or a GIF to that post, but I'm going to keep it simple and make it just a quick text update. So then anyone who's a member of that group can now see my post and they could like it, reply, or they could share. The other types of update are a poll or praise. So polls are really, really simple to run in Yammer. It's a really nice way of getting quick feedback from colleagues. I'm going to say, how often do you use Facebook in a day? And type a few answers. Once, 10 times, more than 10 times, or I'm on it constantly. I haven't given an option for not at all, but never mind. I'm then going to post that poll and now again any members of that group are able to respond to that poll and see the results as they happen. And the last update you can post is called praise and that means you just choose a colleague and you're going to praise something which they've done which is a great quick way to give feedback and people really appreciate it when you take the time to praise them in a public way like this. So I'm going to praise Adrian for setting up the group and I'm going to choose a little sticker for him, um, this one. 
So I've then posted that and anybody in the group is going to see that praise that I've called Adrian out for and also be able to congratulate him by liking it or making their comments on the work that he's done. So update, poll and praise are the three types of post you can do within Yammer. I'm going to go back to all company, which is a good idea to keep an eye on. And if you see a post you're interested in, you can see the author and click follow. So there's a post from Lizzie and I decide I want to hear more from her. So I click follow. That means the activity that she does on Yammer from now on is going to appear in my news feed and I'll be able to keep track of the work she's doing. You can also see who are the members of a specific group. So there are already over 3,800 people in the all company Yammer group at Imperial College. So if you're not on that list, I would urge you to join in, sign into Yammer for the first time and start to explore. Why not sign in right now and get started with Yammer? You can join an existing group or start your own group. And if you need help, look at the Office 365 support pages or contact an Office 365 champion. Thanks for listening.